Sehe ich hübsch aus? Kann losgehen. Action! Hey, do you know who's turning 50 this year? It's the laser. Something you are really familiar with. Like with this laser pointer I'm holding here in my hand. But do you know what laser actually means? It's short for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Sounds pretty complicated. So, what does that mean? I will try to explain it to you. Let's take a look at a single atom. Atoms can interact with photons in many different ways. For example, they can absorb a photon. Let's look at the photons that are coming out of my laser pointer. They can be absorbed by an atom. When an atom has absorbed a photon, we call it an excited atom. After a while, the excited atom spontaneously emits a similar photon in an arbitrary direction. Now we have seen absorption and spontaneous emission. But for a laser we need stimulated emission. Stimulated emission occurs when a photon interacts with an already excited atom. To demonstrate that and how it's used in the lasers, we put two mirrors and an atom there. We excite the atom let it emit a photon which is reflected from the mirrors. As long as it's not excited, it's just being absorbed and emitted again. Now, what happens if the photon interacts with an already excited atom? It triggers the atom to emit a photon in the same direction like the incident photon. Now, if we keep on exciting the atom, we see how more and more photons are produced. This is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. And that's actually all what a laser is about. Pretty simple, isn't it? Now, with one atom, this looks a little bit boring. To make it more realistic, let's put a bunch of atoms there, but without mirrors. Let's excite all of the atoms at once and see what happens. Wow! A whole bunch of photons is produced but they are emitted in all directions. So, the trick is that a laser uses mirrors. We excite all the atoms between the mirrors and they keep on stimulating each other to emit photons. Now we see the light is stored between the two mirrors. But how is the light actually coming out of the laser? The trick is that one of the mirrors is not 100% reflecting, but actually less. Let's see what happens if we make one mirror less reflective. Wow, we see a laser beam coming out, just like the laser light out of this laser pointer. Now you know how a laser works, and you can do a lot of funny things with lasers, like laser graffiti, what we are showing you now. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear, <laughs> happy birthday to you.
Woo! Woo! Cut! <laughs>